but it, it's getting scarier by the minute. It Whoa. must be that Halloween is around the corner, and the Spook Haven Haunted House wow. is on its way. It's coming up this fall. Oh, my Kicking gosh. Kicking off in October. Keep an eye on the Spook Haven Haunted House. Getting scary up here. Let's go back down to Tom Spicer. Tom. Well, well, Gary, I don't know who I should interview. Well, I don't think I'll go with him. And you are? Rhonda Monroe. Oh, Rhonda, tell us about your haunted house coming up. Uh, we're open every Friday and Saturday in October. This is our fourth year. We're in Castania, Pennsylvania. And come see us get scared. I I'm scared already, that's for sure. Now, who is your friend? This is my pet gargoyle. <laughs> and the haunted house is uh, for charity, I take it? The second week of October, we're doing um, charity for the Children's Miracle Network. Well, that's obviously a great cause and wonderful costumes. Very impressive and very scary. I got chills, Gary. Yeah, I would say it's getting a little scary. Who's that guy, oh, Lisa? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get bad dreams tonight, but they are, these are like zombie skeletons. <laughs> yeah. They're really freaking me out. Oh. It's, yeah, it's, it, it's almost Halloween. I, I, I don't want to say that and push summer along too quickly, but <laughs> they're already promoting the big October events at the Haunted Houses. And they're Spook Cave and Haunted Halloween. House in Castanilla, PA. They're really not taking a whole lot of, I mean, they're taking their time and coming They're, they're not here. rushing down the no, street. You want them to get past you. I do, especially that gargoyle thing. It really kind of creeps me out. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> There's a Halloween. giant bat. <laughs> Wow, that, those are really, when you think, when you think about it, a lot of uh, time and effort went into making those really gruesome costumes. No, no doubt. Division 10 of this Grand Slam Parade, Streets of Williamsport, PA, as we get ready to kick off the 64th Annual Little League World Series coming up tomorrow. And, you know, can, can the USA win six in a row? There was a time in the 70s and 80s when the Asian dominance, the Far Eastern dominance of, of Taiwan, now Chinese Taipei, um, Pretty tough to win games, but we had memorable moments uh, over the years. The Cody Webster 1982 year, the year that uh, Trouble Connecticut won it, and uh, on and on it goes. We'll find out what happens this year. Can they make it six in a row? Last year, the defending champs, Chula Vista, California. You know, the Billtown Blues Billtown Association, Blues. been around since 1990, and they do a phenomenal job they do. with uh, the Blues Festival and oh, everything yeah. they do every year. A, a WBIA George, George Graham comes down and he always records the Billtown Blues Festival. Always fantastic entertainment. You know, they came along back in 1996 offering members and area residents information regarding the association with regard to blues events. They also boast a well-designed website and you can visit it to check it out at www.billtownblues.org. And it keeps you, especially if you are a blues fan, it keeps you abreast of all of the things that are going on with regard to the Billtown Blues Association, concerts and the like. So it really